Welcome to our Firebird Database Administrator Training, covering the topics presented at IB Experts Firebird School, held by Holger Klemt and Jason Chapman, as part of the International Firebird Conference 2007. We'll continue in this 10th tutorial session by looking at automating a backup and restore. Why do you need a backup? Why didn't you just take a copy of your database? Your database is a physical living structure. The backup is structurally different. It holds exactly the same data, every data page has been touched, so it gives you the confidence that you have a readable database in another format. If you have a physical file corruption in there, it will tell you about it, at the latest, when you try to restore. For example, you're a developer and you need to alter a field which allows null values to not null. If you change this on a live database, it will accept and carry out the alteration, but it won't immediately validate all of the data. It will only validate data inserted or updated after the change has been committed. When you do a backup, it takes a copy of the metadata and the data and puts it into one file. And then it notices any old null values, and you'll not be able to restore your database. If I want to perform a backup, then I want to move it off-site to a different physical disk. A lot of time people do backups and they just sit there on the same machine, which doesn't help anybody if you have a hardware problem. Because if your PC dies, or is stolen, or burnt in a fire, then you've lost your database and the backup. And regularly do a test restore, because this will reveal any hidden problems. A database backup can be performed using IB Expert Services menu item, Backup Database, or the Firebird command line tool, GBAC. When performing a backup, only the index definitions are stored. Then, when the database is restored, data is restored into the tables, and, right at the end, the indices are newly generated. A backup and restore also resets all the transaction parameters that can be viewed in the database statistics. Always back up onto another machine. Check that the file stamp is different and do a test restore regularly to confirm that the backup files are fine. It is possible to automate the database backup in a batch file in the Windows Scheduled Tasks. Although a great tool for automating your backups and restores is the IBExpert server tool, IBExpert Backup Restore. This enables you to automate backups and restores and can send you an email to inform you of any errors or confirming that there were no errors. For example, in GBAC, minus V means verbose mode, which publishes a detailed protocol of the steps being taken by Firebird. Firebird has created a backup file, which is 9 megabytes in size and contains all data. It does not include any indices, but only their definition. This is because, when I perform a restore, Firebird pushes the data into the restore tables and, at the end, it regenerates the indices so that everything is updated and reorganized. For obvious reasons, should you need to perform a database restore, it is vital that no users are working on the database during the restore. A database restore can be performed using the IB Expert Services menu item, Restore Database, or the Firebird command line tool, GBAG. Please note that if you run the GBAC Restore in verbose mode, it can take an awful long time. Garbage collection is the ongoing cleaning of the database and is performed in the background around the clock. This constantly reorganizes the memory space used by the database. If you don't clean up, database performance will slowly but surely degrade. Garbage collection works for both data pages and index pages. So if you've created 100,000 new datasets and deleted another 100,000 datasets, an index won't help much if the 100,000 deleted pages are still there and being searched through. The Firebird garbage collection does not require administrative commands or manual maintenance, as certain other database environments do. Whether the garbage collector works efficiently or not depends on how the application works. If I go back to this database and clone the registration info to register db1x, Dot .ftb for use in IB Expert, and take a look at the database statistics in this restored database, we can see that the oldest transaction is now at a much lower value. So you can see that a backup and restore resets all these transaction parameters, and the selectivity of all indices has been recalculated. If you have a web server online and running 24-7, you won't have a window where you can shut down the database to restore it. So you need to organize your programming so that the resetting of these parameters doesn't demand using a restore. Here is the backup and restore command syntax. If you put this in a batch file, you can run it in Windows as a task, or in IB Expert, you can use the IB Expert backup restore tool to automate this process. 
Here you can preset your configuration and a restore is also performed automatically because you need to be sure that the restore also works in case you really need it. Using IB Expert Backup Restore, you can automatically have an email sent to you should a problem occur with the backup or the restore, or even as a confirmation that everything has run without any errors. Which is also important, because if the server isn't running at all, it won't be able to send you an error email. So, that was our introduction to automating a backup and restore. A transcript of this tutorial can be downloaded by all IB Expert registered full version holders from the customer download area at www.ibexpert.com. All topics presented here are also documented in detail on our website. We hope this tutorial has been of help to you and look forward to publishing our next tutorial in our series for DB Admins. Goodbye for now and thank you from all of us at IB Expert. Mm -hmm.